Webheads, I went back to the shop for round two. What's up, all my webheads? Guys, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. Fans, I'm your host, Mike Spider Slayer, bringing you another episode of Spider Slayer's Comic Book Call. That's right, guys, the second one of the week. This is episode 539, and this is the series where I show you what I pick up at my comic shop. Of course, it's Comic Central, located in the city of Sanford in Central Florida. Stop by, guys, they got great stuff. Yes, after buying yesterday's big book, I had to go back today and pick up the rest of the stuff that I left behind so I could stay current with my reading. So here we go, mysterious black bad guys. Let's see what's inside. Here we go. All right, so mysterious black bag. And boom, stack is a little higher today than it was yesterday. I think, I think yesterday it was like three books, right? So... First thing I wound up getting is another slab. Which one is it? Well, I had to get this because I don't own a single comic of this series. But they had it and I thought the cover looked pretty cool. And I'm like, why not? Very affordable book. This is Howard the Duck issue one. Yes, I was like, sweet. But the main reason why I bought this, and there's other affordable slabs at my shop, was because one, yes, I don't own a Howard the Duck comic book. Two, Spider-Man is in it, because it says, against sword and sorcery, Howard stands side by side with the amazing Spider-Man. So that's cool, and I love how Red Sonia is in it. That is sweet, man. So I was like, you know what? It may not be the best grade in the world, which is a 5.5, but it's a cool book to own. And uh, it's classic, man. I love that. So yeah, totally stoked about getting this book, right? Love the cover. I think that's the main reason why I bought it. All right. Now, the next book I wanted to getting is the new Mandalorian, uh, one in 10 cover. So this cover was pretty sick right here, as you get to see IG-88 and Mando on there. So I was like, oh yeah, that's just right off the TV show, right? So I was like, okay, cool, pick that up. Then I wound up getting Quest Aside issue three. Series is pretty good about this, this king who wants to overrun a bar and they make all these crazy jokes in it. Pretty interesting series, you know, something different, something I don't normally read. There's the interior artwork inside. So I was like, yeah, why not? Why not continue reading this book, right? All right, then we wind up getting this weird book. So we got Superman, uh, Dark Crisis, I guess, tie-in, World Without a Justice League. I guess this is kind of like a what-if book, like if, I don't know, this is Superman's Robin, right? I guess, I, I don't know. It's like his little sidekick here. So here's some of the interior artwork inside. What is going on with Superman's face? Holy cow, man, I don't know what to expect out of this. Look at this. It's like some little Saturday morning cartoon. Hey, Dad, let's go out on an adventure together. <laughs> well, I don't know. We'll see. So speaking of Mandalorian, I also got the main cover of that as well. Let's check out the interior artwork to see what it looks like inside. So I did get a comment saying it's kind of just like the show. I don't know if that's true or not, but... I guess when I read it, I guess we will find out, right? So that's the interior artwork. All right, next, super excited about issue three of Eight Billion Genies, came out on time, no printing issues this time. First issue, we got to see these genies appear, everyone is starting to whisper things. Second issue, you kind of get to see the rules of the genie, like what you can and can't wish for. And now we'll see what happens going forward here. I think you got Jim Morrison in this comic book now from The Doors. Like, I don't know what's happening and what are people actually wishing for at this point that's going to set this world into chaos. Uh, I'm so looking forward to this uh, third issue of this book. Yeah, the human population keeps going down and things keep getting worse, man. Insane book. All right, another independent book. Impact Winter, this is issue one. This is a $5 comic as well. Uh, this is an apocalyptic book. I think an asteroid hit Earth. There's only so many people alive. There's this 
black winter that has happened or whatnot and it's covered you know the sun and now i guess vampires have arisen from it and you got your rebels and your band of people trying to stop these vampires seems like a story we've kind of read before but always what makes the story is not always just the world but it is also the characters itself so again we'll see what this one has to offer looking forward to it so yeah impact winter issue one all right and you know I could not pass up this week's comic books without the Hellfire Gala. That's right. This is issue one. Uh, this is a thick book. This is a hefty, hefty book. Um, and we got the gala. So what happens in it? Do we get an announcement of a new team? Is Starfire part of the team? What's the direction that's going to happen with this book? Artwork looks okay. I mean, it's not the best artwork in there. Uh, but it is definitely a hefty book. This might be probably the last book I read for the week just because it's so large and I need to dedicate a decent amount of time to uh, to read it. But it's got the new Strange in there, so that's cool. Sorcerer Supreme. All right. And then I wound up getting the variant cover. This is the Art Germ with the gorgeous Jean Grey on there. Had to pick that up as well. Maybe, you know, I spent a little bit too much for two comic books, but I love this this art germ cover. I mean, Jean Grey's eyes are absolutely gorgeous in this. Great stuff here, man. All right, and then I got Spider-Man 2099 Exodus issue four. Uh, this has the new um, Black Widow on the cover. So that's what this 2099 series has been about, about introducing a lot of new 2099 characters. Whether these characters have legs or not, you know, it's obviously still to be determined. Uh, but we'll see where this one goes, man. So, yeah, that's uh, Spider-Man Exodus 2099, issue four. Next, we got the continuation of Moon Knight. This is issue 13. Great series. I am behind on it. I have not read every single comic this summer due to heavy workload, but I will have to read these books back to back to back. Um, so I get caught up on the actual story. I do love this series. I just need to get down to reading it. So maybe with not with not being that many books this week, I can catch up. All right. And then I wound up getting Immortal X-Men. Not because I wanted to read the book. I'm not a fan of it. But this cover is gorgeous. This was on my top 10 comic book covers of the week. If you guys that want to check out that series, it's a really awesome where you get to, get to vote on your favorite comic book covers. A lot of fun. So here's some of the interior artwork if you're into reading Immortal X-Men. I know a lot of people have said things about you know Immortal X-Men not being the same. Um, we need our X-Men back. All these books need to be canceled. We need to do a reboot. And you know what? In a way, I'm right there with you guys. I'm only truly reading the main X-Men title right now. Uh, I always like to follow them in some way because I need to stay relevant to what's going on in the world. All right. And then we wind up getting Eve of Judgment. This is issue one. We wind up getting the variant cover of this. Uh, this is obviously the book right before the main event and I thought that this was worth buying because it's got a whole bunch of different comic book covers on it I thought that was really neat and uh, it's got Celestial on there so I was like you know even if this Eve comic book is not great at least I got a great looking cover here and again this is what kicks off the event uh, you know and then the next one will get the main story so I don't know man I don't know what to expect if you're not a Immortals fan you can't be very excited and that is me right now I am not an Immortals fan I love the Avengers I love the X-Men but uh, I don't know we'll see where this story goes because this affects a lot of the Marvel Universe right now so we'll see and there you guys have it that is truly all the books that I bought for this week I'm not going back for a third time Lord knows I spent enough money there this week so guys again I want to know in the comments below what did you pick up this week what's good so far this week and of course guys if you love the content I'll leave you more content right here speaking of that comic book top 10 comic book cover video I'll leave that for you to check out right here and uh, as always guys Keep buying, keep collecting, but most importantly, always read your comics. Guys, thank you so much. Enjoy your books.